Welcome back, sports fans. The Georgia Bulldogs take on Texas A&M Saturday in Athens. Jake Fromm will lead his team into battle, but two of his biggest fans won't be in the stands. They haven't been all season because his brothers Dylan and Tyler Fromm are on their own sidelines playing their own games of college ball. I caught up with the Fromm brothers as their first season with all three of them miles apart comes to a close. For the Fromm brothers, their love for football strengthens their bond. Man, taking trips back, uh, kind of missing high school football uh, on Friday. I uh, really got to check in on uh, some teams. It was awesome to kind of check in on checking on everybody and see how everybody else did. The Fromm trio took the field together at Houston County High School for two seasons. Yo! With Jake setting multiple records and earning All-American status before heading to Athens. The younger brothers emerged from Jake's shadow after transferring to Warner Robins High School. Tyler also achieved All-American status and Dylan took the title of best high school player in the state. Um, I love those guys to death. I think uh, it just, uh, I love it for my family, you know, to be able to have three boys uh, playing college football. Dylan Fromm, a freshman quarterback at Mercer, is wrapping up his redshirt season. From, from day one to now, you know, I can say that I've definitely learned a lot and uh, improved, you know, as, as a person and as a player. While his twin brother Tyler went through the same highs and lows as a redshirt tied in at Auburn. We're, we're super competitive and we want to be out there, but, um, you know, we know it's a process and eventually it'll be our time and when it's our time, we'll be ready. The state line between them doesn't stop them from continuing to build each other up. As soon as you get apart and you separate, you realize how much y'all mean to one another and uh, we see that and so, you know, we've got our group chats, we've got our group FaceTime, stuff like that. And, um, you know, it's good to just catch, catch back up and, you know, keep keep up to date with what we're doing in our daily lives, making sure we're, we got our priorities straight and we're, you know, we're still acting the way that we need to, need to be acting. And there's Jake to keep them straight. They say he leads the pack of brothers on and off the gridiron. And uh, I can't wait to see what they're going to do uh, with their future and how they're going to play. But uh, I think it's special. Uh, I just hope that they're uh, honoring the Lord at Mercer and at Auburn and um, that they're doing the best they can. Uh, and serving the best I can. With the three spending Saturdays hundreds of miles apart, travel plans get complicated for their parents. They manage to attend all of Jake's games and some of Dylan and Tyler's. They've done a good job at supporting all three of us. Um, they do it, you know, every week. It's all about faith. If one of us is down, you know, the whole family's down. Family. Uh, the only people in the world that I trust is my family, and uh, I think that's how we all think, so. And football with the Froms. Dylan wraps up his first season Saturday when they travel to UNC for the season finale. Tyler has two more games, including the Iron Bowl, and Jake takes on Texas A&M, like I mentioned earlier, on Saturday. Tech next weekend and the SEC championship the first weekend of December. The brothers say the first thing they do once they get in the locker room, win, lose, or draw after their games is check on the other scores via their cell phones. They plan to spend Christmas break together, of course, before Jake and Tyler's bowl seasons begin.